G'day guys, it's Calvin from the Cartoon Company. I do a lot of 1UZ conversions and wiring, and today we are going to discuss the bypass thermostat on a 1UZ FE. We've just fired up a truck, got a mate helping me out, and he goes, there's no thermostat in the top hose. And he works on tractors. And whilst our one sounds like a tractor because it's got no exhaust, it's not a tractor. So let's have a talk about it, because there's still lots of convert confusion over how the thermostat and how the circuit works and we've had bypass type thermostats since the mid 80s on on uh, four AGEs which was common they were around before that but that was really common and of course UZs in the 90s 89 they came out bypass thermostat lots of MITSEs bypass thermostats so it's really common in the automotive trade so I'm actually surprised that we still have confusion over this because to me it's very normal so let's clear that confusion up. We'll go through the circuit. Working on a non-VVTI, so plastic thermostat housing, pretty common to replace. We just replaced one. And there is the thermostat. We've got the main front piece, which normally goes out to the radiator. And there's this bit at the back, which is like a secondary unit, which is the bypass valve. If we look in, so this is the top hose. So that is the outlet from the engine, goes to the top of the radiator. This is the bottom hose, the inlet. That's pointing down towards the bottom. So it's pretty obvious that is the bottom. So what we have is when the water is hot, it flows from the water pump, flows along the block, comes up through, forward through the heads, we have a heater circuit, crossover pipe here, so that's hot water with cold water going into the back of the water pump through that pipe that doesn't exist on this one. So the water comes up into here. The water pump is pumping. There's a radiator out here. But we have a closed thermostat. So the water cannot flow through that radiator at that point. It can, however, come from here, which is the bypass circuit, and flow down into the water pump, which is down where my finger goes. So out there, so that is the bypass circuit right there. So as the engine warms up, the thermostat will open. It will close off the bypass circuit with that one. That one will come out, and it will open that thermostat to allow water to come through the radiator, in through the bottom hose, in through the thermostat which is the inlet to the engine and then of course down into the water pump to flow around the circuit and that's how that bypass circuit works if you throw that thermostat away you will have issues because you'll have water that bypass circuit will be open all the time so if we take them out because we're doing something like a jet boat we always blank this unit in here up but for most road going cars the genuine thermostat is the way to go. Any questions? You got your earmuffs on. It's all good, bro. <laughs> Does that make sense? Yep. Yeah, no, no, I understand how it works. Good. Just, I'm used to seeing it on the... It's I'm not sorry. a 350 Chev. <laughs> See, on a 350 Chev, you've also got a little bypass circuit or a drilling. Yeah. And like Mitsubishi's had one. Old Ford Telstars were really common. They had like a little loop. Yeah. And it would blow that hose because it was always running hot water. Yeah. So that 100% of the time always had hot water going through as a little 8 mil hose. And it's hard on the hoses and they would break down and blow to pieces, yeah. drain all the water out, blow the head gasket. Yeah. Common. Yeah. So on your tractors, there'll be a bypass somewhere in the circuit. Yeah, it's on the thermostat, but they have that, they have that housing sitting on the outlet side to the top of the radio. Yep. So they, they feed the water through, whereas this... this this, they feed the, that water through the thermostat, whereas yep. this is feeding cold water back through the thermostat. That's right. Yep. So it's on, the, it's on the other side of the circuit. With with a bypass circuit in the back of it. And so what's more efficient because you've got that, what happens is once you warm it up, you're closing the bypass circuit off completely. So all that water is going to the radiator. You're not getting that. So I hope that was somewhat helpful with uh, explaining how the bypass circuit works. Something that still a lot of people get wrong. So fingers crossed, that'll help uh, improve uh, the knowledge that's out there.
Ngủ chung chị lết rồi 